Mitosis is the division of somatic non-reproductive cells. We will begin with the prophase of mitosis. Here, you saw the stringy, uncondensed DNA called chromatin condensing into chromosomes. Prior to cell division, the chromosomes replicate but remain connected to the centromere. These are called sister chromatids. Spindle fibers are formed and are attached to asters at the poles of the cell. These spindle fibers capture the chromosomes and begin to pull them toward the equator. Now we'll enter metaphase. The spindle fibers pull the chromosomes to the equator of the cell with one of the sister chromatids facing each pole. The cell is now entering anaphase. The sister chromatids just separated and the spindle fibers begin to move back toward the asters and poles of the cell. The free spindle fibers that are not attached to chromosomes push the cell apart. Now entering telophase. Cleavage furrows form and cytokinesis occurs, separating into daughter cells. Spindle fibers are beginning to disappear and the nuclear envelopes are starting to reform. The chromosomes are reverting back to chromatin and the nuclei are reforming. You thought mitosis was fun? Just wait for meiosis coming up right now! We begin an interphase when the chromosomes duplicate. Where the tetrads line across the equators and the line up in a double <laughs> file line. Into prophase one, where the homogulous pairs exchange segments. <laughs> In telophase one, a cleavage furrow forms and two haploid cells separate, and chromosomes are still double. Metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up on the ec equator of the cell with one sister chroma chromatid, chromatid facing each pole. In telophase 2, a cleavage fur is formed. Again, and cytokinesis occurs, separating the two cells. Yeah, that. <laughs> Not doing it if you're a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going.